should get some when he deserves this. They have been pushed all the way by Notts County. Welcome to another preview on Footy Fan Vids. This is a preview for Grimsby Town at the Stoke Kairas, also home at Wrexham, EFC. Our last game at the race course was Doncaster Rovers, where we overcome with a 2 1 win. Goals from Luke Young and from Elliot Lee. I thought Doncaster knocked the ball around quite nicely. It's just like they weren't really threatening. They're more like a possession based team. Uh, it worked the best against some Wrexham looking as a home fan. Obviously, long balls quite frustrating. Um, I thought there was a bit of weak links. I thought. Like second half, especially with Tom O'Connor get the ball away so many times, he was off the pace. I thought Liam McAlinden, he came in at left wing back. There was Normandy, he picked up a knock or something like that in training. Obviously, McLean was out with Ireland for the Euros. Uh, he's now been reported back at the club for training. So, obviously, we are playing on Saturday, so he should be coming straight back in, or Mendy fit, but if McLean's fit to play, I won't rush Mendy back, so I start McLean there, but yeah, looking into this game, obviously last result for Grimsby was the one all way at Bradford, the early kickoff. it was on Sky Sport I believe, was it R12 I think it was, at the kickoff, off that? I remember seeing it in the pub when I went to the turf quickly and I saw it on the, the tellies playing. Obviously it ended 1-0, I'm not sure how they, how well they played. I didn't watch the full game. Uh, the results I'm not too sure about. They have, I think they have won games, but I'm not sure how many. I'm not sure where they are on the table at this minute. But I know, obviously, previous meetings, obviously, the last meeting we had with them was that playoff. Obviously, they went they went through to the final and won it. I believe it was against Sonny or Malls up in the final. Um, but we played on the race course and ended 5-4 to them. It was an open game, obviously, for the neutral look. Watching it, it was a classic game of football, especially for normally level. Obviously, Wrexham missed out on a chance of promotion. Obviously, the year after, we went up as obviously as champions without a game against Bournemouth with the 3 1 win at the race course. Obviously, we started off League Two, we started our first game off not great, losing 5 3 to MK Dons at home. And obviously went away, got a draw at Wimbledon. And obviously since then, I don't think we lost since that MK Don games. We picked up draws and wins. So obviously the last, like I said before, the last win was Doncaster Rovers. Before that was Tramway away in the league. In the middle, we played the cup. The you know the cup with the group things in it. That was Newcastle 21. We beat them at home one 0 Go from Sam Dolby. Uh, obviously, recording this, the registration has been sent over. Obviously, three players have gone. Been that'll be going when they've been left out. So striker Billy Waters, who came from Barrow, he's not really hit the ground running. To be honest with you, against Newcastle, he it was awful. I don't like calling players out, but it was just dreadful. I think Callum McFatsy, I think Darlene's his level personally. It wasn't great last season. I remember that red card, that stupid kick he did on the, the Lowy Walker away at Barnet. There's no need for that, a stupid kick he kicked out. And obviously, we got a 0 0 thanks to Foster saves. Might get a point. And obviously, the third one is Bryce Osana. 
he can play either right wing back or left wing back. I I think we've only seen one appearance of him, and that was the MK Don game where he came on. And I thought he changed the game. I'm not, I think behind it, the reason why he's not been registered is due to injuries. He's always get injuries a lot. I can know a player common now getting injuries, the porter coming out on Aaron Hayden, you went off with Doncaster the game. You went off, I can't remember what minute it was. He started alright and came off and he's been reported to be out for five to eight weeks. But people say hamstring, but people are saying ankle. So need to wait for obviously the club to announce it officially but that's the rumours going on social media but yeah back to the Green Bay game half year will go I personally think it'll be a tight one um, obviously we got a new striker for the door which in Fletcher he came on about 15 minutes for the Doncaster game he showed his class obviously Mullen came back after about two months on the sideline with that punctured lung and uh, bro four broken ribs, he got a welcome back. Like he was welcome. It was quite muscle actually, because obviously all the ground was just singing in, neighing, clapping, just over rejoicing and back back on the pitch. And obviously, we all know what happened in the pre season against Man United 23s with that keeper, what he did. Uh, but yeah, obviously I've forgotten about it. he's moved on from that. He's still a bit rusty, but obviously you can't blame him. But it takes time. So I go into my lineup for Grinsby Town game. I'll probably go Howard back and go. Um, I'll probably go Barnett on the right, McLean on the left. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Bio, Tozer. Obviously, Hayden will be out, so I think he might put Evans in the back three or be Owen O'Connell. And the three midfield, I'm not sure about, I'm not sure about Tom O'Connell at the minute, but I'll put him in. It'll be him, Young, and Elliot Lee. And obviously, depending what, we don't know what front two is going for. Obviously, the last game, he went for Palmer and Dolby. I don't think it worked, personally. It's just too similar. Um, I think one of them needs that person run off, running off the player on the shoulder kind of thing, like the Palmer Mullen effect last season. How that work? That's what we need, kind of. Not two similar players. So it's he will start Mullen. I can't see it happening. Will he start Fletcher or with bigger staff? He might go with Dolby and Palmer, I don't know, obviously Palmer is ex-Grimsby, he has played for them. So there's a bit of history there with them. Um, yeah, I'd probably say that's my team. I could be wrong, I could be right. But I should be attending the game, so it's either Saturday, I believe it was the 16th, 3 o'clock kickoff uh, at the race course. I should be doing the vlog for that. I hope, uh, so on the Saturday I will start getting like obviously more information and team news coming in and stuff like that, I'll find out, I'll go to the ground, I will quick nose round, uh, see if any fans, if Grinsby fans watching this please come over for a chat and it'd be nice to have you on the channel and just get your thoughts of the game and how your season's going at the minute. What, what you think? What you think? How you get on this season? You could, you could tell us like who's your best player. You think the best get 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 basically the best player to get you results in games. What well, basically one to watch out for? I'd be the same. You give us a scoreline. I give you a scoreline back. Not all work to YouTube and that. But yeah, so that's pretty much it really. I'm just looking for a Grinsby loss <laughs> I will win so I will win like I said to my mate obviously I said 1-0 on like a live preview early today I said it'd be 1-0 I think it'd be tight and um, the goal scorer this is a tricky one but 
I reckon it'll come from Palmer if we do get a 1 now. I think Palmer will score. But it'd be nice to see Mullin come on and get a goal. Don't get me wrong. But I will rush him back quick. Because all Fletcher will come on. You don't know, do you? Go see, it's all butting maybe at the minute of the line up. We don't know. But I think it'd be similar like that. But obviously, Mendy, like I said, out injured. We believe. We're not sure if he's back training now. I don't know. But obviously, the injury update, and obviously, it's Hayden, a five to six, five, sorry, five to eight weeks. That's what I know at the minute. Or he players injured. Obviously, Davis came back on the bench from injury. He was out of uh, on bumps or like that. Obviously, Fletcher knew he signed the Friday before the game. He got on the bench. First, he apologised. He trained the Friday and he apologised. And obviously, he got on the bench Saturday. Obviously, Mullen got on the bench after two months. So, yeah, I'll wrap this video up now. And I'll see you all on Saturday at the game. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe and share the content. And I'll catch you all on Saturday. See you all later. Wrexham fully deserved this. Lift the trophy together. Wrexham fully deserved this. Let's go.